Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you an American teen parody film from 2001, titled Not Another Teen Movie. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead. Watch out. The film begins with Janie watching movie where the actor making her lustful, leading her to use her toy to pleasure herself. Suddenly, the drunk father and her brother, Mitch, enter the room. Her grandparents come with a birthday cake and their dog, accidentally clicks the toy to make it vibrate stronger, exposing her toy. As Janie reaches her peak, the toy flies out and lands on the cake. On their way to school, Mitch begs Janie to find a boyfriend because Mitch is forbidden from making love without Janie doing it first. It's their father's rules. Janie, however, is unwilling to follow the norms of a typical high school student. As she approaches the school, her father hits a cheerleader, causing her to fall into his truck. At the same time, Jake, the star football player and popular boy in school, parks his Ferrari in a space set aside just for him. The girls greet Jake as he walks through the hallways by throwing their underwear at him. Childhood friend of Janie, Ricky, moves toward his best friend with whom he has been simping obsessively for a very long time. He hands her a mixtape but she puts it into her locker along with the other mixtapes Ricky has given Janie. Mitch gathers with his buddies, the sensitive guy Ox and the wannabe Asian guy Bruce. Despite being only freshman students, they discuss how they need to lose their virginity before graduating. When they see Amanda, the perfect girl in school who also Mitch is crushing on, they are astounded. Jake greets Reggie, before his arrogant blonde teammate Austin and Malik arrive. Austin mocks Jake for not being the starting quarterback this year because Austin has taken his place. Later, Catherine, Jake's older sister, enters the hallway, looking seductive. She approaches Jake and continues to flirt with his blood-related brother, whom she is attracted to. She sensually reveals to her brother that she likes to take large dumps on men's chests after they put their wiener in. Jake's girlfriend Priscilla, who is also their school's head cheerleader, is approaching him. She informs her boyfriend that they must speak. Priscilla breaks up with Jake as she reveals to him that she is now dating Les, the weird student who is always records people on his video camera. The principal welcomes Ariola, a new foreign exchange student, to her first class. She reveals that she attended the school only to satisfy American lust. That's why she is not wearing anything. As they stroll the school, Jake and the boys see Priscilla kissing with Les. Jake firmly believes his ex can be replaced. Austin bet Jake that he cannot turn the school's most hopeless girl into the prom queen. In search of a hopeless girl, the four boys start looking. An albino woman playing guitar, conjoined twins, and a girl with a hunchback are among the girls. However, Austin thinks each of them is still prom queen material. Then Janie appears, and they all somehow come to the conclusion that she is the hopeless one. In the meantime, Mitch and his buddies observe a girl in the restroom. Unlucky for them, the vent system collapse, causing the boys to fall in front of the girl. The floor also collapses, causing they all tumble into a classroom, filling it with poop. As Janie and Ricky wait in line for food, Jake approaches them and greets Janie. He asks her out, but Janie flatly declines because Jake hasn't talked to her in six years. The news of Jake's breakup reached his father at home. He then offers his son his own wife. Of course Jack refuses. What is wrong with this family? Jake seeks Catherine advice with hope she can help Jake win Janie. Catherine agrees to help him if they make love. Although Jake is hesitant because Catherine is his sister, he eventually agrees because he desperately needs her help. At Janie's home, her father notices her sleeping on the couch and asks if everything is okay. Janie confides that the popular boy in the school is asking her out, but she is hesitant to accept because he is a jerk. The father advises her to go out with him because she could use some of the popularity points. The right moment comes, Jake approaches the boys and stops them from bullying Mitch. When Mitch punches Jake by accident, Jake responds by giving him multiple punches. He stands up and orders the boys not to bully Mitch again. While she is taking an art class on the football field, Jake sings a song that contains her name. He sings that Janie has a gun, believing it to be real, making the students run away from her. The police arrive and tase her. That evening, Janie visits Jake's house to request that he leave her alone. Jake, however, offers her a snack and goes to the kitchen. As Janie looks at Jake's trophy cabinet, Jake returns with some whipped cream in his body. Jake offers her his banana splits. 
Janie says she hates banana splits and walks out. One day, Jake and Catherine go to Janie's house to pick Janie up for the one of the students' parties. Catherine gives her a complete makeover by taking off her glasses and ponytail, instantly transforming Janie into a gorgeous girl. As she walks down, the stairs collapse. At the party, many students recognize Janie but mistakenly believe that she is a completely different person due to her transformation. Priscilla is obviously irate to see Jake with the new Janie. Janie shows her rebelliousness by standing on the first floor's porch and jumps into the pool. She emerges from the pool dripping wet when Priscilla and her gang approach Janie. Priscilla confronts her and tells her that even though she has lost her glasses and ponytail, she is still a loser. She pours water on Janie, who is already drenched. Janie cries as she leaves the party. Jake visits Janie at her home, where they have a deep conversation. Janie confides in Jake that she has always wanted to study art in Paris. As they are about to kiss, they both miss each other's faces. Jake walks away embarrassed. The next day at school, Priscilla and her gang confront Janie in the girls' locker room about the fact that she won't be the prom queen. This time, Janie takes it easy and walks away. Later, Jake asks Janie out to the prom, breaking Ricky's heart as he watches them. As prom time approaches, the school hosts its state championship football game. Priscilla's group is told to stop copying their moves by a group of black cheerleaders. As they begin to show their moves, the white girls chant that they have big booties and are undoubtedly not white. After Reggie passed out and Austin is also attacked during the game, the coach puts Jake in the game. Jake unfortunately makes a pretty bad throw, which results in their team losing. After the game, Jake is upset and Janie approaches him to help him stop blaming himself. Suddenly, Austin appears and pretended to whisper the secret into Janie's ear. Jake is tricked into admitting the bet making Janie very upset. As a result, Catherine is glad because she now has a chance to sleep with his brother. Meanwhile, Priscilla is delighted that she will be the prom queen. Austin and Janie go to prom together, while Jake brings Catherine. The jealous Jake and Catherine have a dance-off with Austin and Janie. Catherine dancing in a sensual manner, causing Janie to run off crying. Meanwhile, Mitch and his buddies are having a miserable time, until Amanda arrives making him stunned. Mitch gives her a letter asking to make sweet, sweet love to her. Amanda feels a little insulted because she doesn't sleep with a loser who writes her a letter. She, however, smiles and informs Mitch she would be giving him the service and they leave the party. Ox is dancing by himself when Catherine approaches. She confesses to Ox that she's looking for a guy who'll eject his semen on her chest. As an answer, Ox says he wants to be that guy for her. Jake wins prom king, and prom queen is declared a tie. Everyone believes that is between Janie and Priscilla, but they are all surprised to learn that the conjoined twins are the prom queen. During the traditional prom king and queen dance, Jake watches as Janie leaves and with Austin right behind her. Jake leaves the prom queen and then pursues them. He races alongside Ricky, who also wants to tell Janie his feelings. Unfortunately, some guys on bikes and a bus run overtakes Ricky. Jake visits the hotel room where he witnesses Austin make love with a girl while Les records it with his pants down. Jake is shocked to learn that the girl is Priscilla. Jake is informed by Austin that Janie ran home to her father. In response to Austin and Priscilla humiliating Janie, he punches them, making them unconscious. Les is then punched by him for being weird. When Jake arrives at Janie's home, he finds out from her father that she is on her way to the airport to attend an art school in Paris. When Jake gets to the airport, he announces to the line of crowd waiting to check in that the person he loves is about to board a flight to Paris. As they allow him to pass, the crowd cheers him. Meanwhile, Ricky shows up injured and messed up and tries to act in the same way as Jake did, but the crowd rejects him. Jake meets Janie successfully at the right time. He persuades her not to board the flight for Paris by telling Janie that he truly loves her. And they are kissing. That's all for today's kids. Please watch and subscribe this another Sigma's channel.